Good evening, everyone. It's Tuesday night. Welcome to another edition of AJT Coaching, where tonight we're going to be talking about taking the power back. I hope you've had a great week so far and that you had an awesome weekend and that there's some nice things coming up for you this week, some really good plans and that you're working towards your dreams and your goals as usual. So welcome again. I'm really glad to be on tonight and I'll be really excited about this particular topic tonight. And as I said, we're going to be talking about taking the power back. So the basis of our conversation or our discussion is going to be about where you can actually take control of the power within you and regain that power within yourself. That's going to be the basis of our discussion tonight. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. So, you know, have you ever felt where you just feel like everyone, everyone's got your power but you? Do you ever feel like you're just being pulled in several different directions and that other people are dictating your movements and things that you do? It feels like all your decisions are being made by somebody else. Do you ever feel like that? I certainly do. And the whether it's at work, whether it's at home, whether it's in your family, whether it's in your friendship group, no matter what, there are there are times when it can really feel like and it possibly is the case where everybody else is making the choices for you or it feels like everybody's making the decisions and making your choices for you which leaves you with very little power don't you think like i've when i've been in that space i feel like what about me <laughs> what about me it's like that song um not the shannon noel version so it's really hard to be able to get that back once there's so much being given out to other people don't you think like when there's other people that are constantly making your decisions for you or asking you to do things for them all the time it can be really hard to get that power back because once you've given away that power what more have you got inside you when you've given away your inner power what more do you have there's so many, there are only a few things that you that you can own that nobody else can, should be able to touch and number 1 or one of the key components of that would be your inner power so it's like you can feel like you're a bit of a puppet you're being steered in all these different directions and balancing okay yeah I need to go over here to help you do this and oh now you need help with that and Now I'm being asked to go and help out with something else and I need to be at this particular place because this person's asked me to be there and it's tiring, really, really tiring because often, how often are you doing things that you really actually don't want to do and you know what, yes, that's life. Sometimes we do have, we do, well, people would argue that we do have to do things we don't like sometimes but I argue what if you didn't? What would it mean if you did say no when someone asks you to come and give them a hand with something when you really don't want to? What would it mean if your child asks you to take them somewhere and you say no? What would happen if you go out somewhere or you've been asked to go out somewhere and you feel obligated but you say no? What's the worst that's going to happen? So maybe that's it. Maybe it's about being able to say no. And I, this is part of the discussion is talking about being able to say no and being okay with that. Often we feel like we have to give a reason. Someone once told me, which I thought was a really cool thing, that no is a perfectly legitimate sentence. It's actually a sentence. Someone asks you a question, the answer is no. One word, no. Or yes is also one sentence. And it's up to you whether or not you want to say yes or no. And at the end of the day, it's only me that gets annoyed when I've said yes to doing something and I really don't want to. 
and I'm the one that ends up getting caught out. So I've given, I've given my control away. I've given away that inner power because I've agreed to do something that I didn't want to do. So I feel like that is one thing to gain, to start gaining back that inner power or the, would be to be able to learn to say no. And of course, I'm certainly someone that loves to help people out. I love to be there and support people for things. And uh, But I think it's just about finding that, that balance of where you can do that, but you're not necessarily giving absolutely everything away all the time. Because also there comes that expectation. Uh, I'll ask Adam because I know he'll say yes, you know, and it's, I'm not just, I'm talk. I can only talk about me in this example and I'm sure there are, like everyone that's on this call would know what it's like to, to be in that position where it just becomes this expectation of you and it's like when you do say no, you feel guilty or, they, or, or the other person can easily make you feel guilty. But again, at the end of the day, you have to live with you and it's about just being able to work out how can I just feel better about it for me? How can I gain control of these situations purely for me? The other, the other thing I'd be looking at as well is being able to learn to be more assertive. So again, as well, obviously you'd need to be a bit more super, <laughs> assertive rather when working on being able to say no. Also, with being assertive, it's just being able to let the the other person know that you need your own time. Like if there are, if there is times where you're saying yes, where you are going ahead and going ahead with actions that you don't really want to do, it's just being able to be comfortable to say, you know what, I actually don't really want to do this, so I'm going to say no which is a perfectly legitimate answer. But also being able to really allow your, your power to, sh- to come to the surface and shine at any given time. Being able to build that inner strength within you, which what's going to happen then? Your confidence goes up. Your motivation goes up. The love for yourself goes up. People around you tend to have a di- see you in a different light, and you can they they can feel the energy from you. They can feel it at any given time when you're around them. They can feel your power. They know it's there. So the signs are as well where you start to feel drained, and you feel like you're just being pulled in so many different directions, and it's almost like you're not pleasing anyone either. Do you ever feel like that? Where, you, where you, you are helping all these different people, but you feel like you're not really getting anything back. You feel like you're not being appreciated. You're feeling tired, worn out. And it gets to a point where you suddenly think, hang on a minute, I haven't done one thing for myself for a long time. So being able to Just build that wonderful power and inner strength inside you where the decisions you make, you are making them for you. The decisions you make are for what's best for you. And the decisions you make, you're going to more likely make those smarter decisions for yourself when you are looking after yourself more where you're not just constantly reaching out and giving yourself away to everybody. You cannot sustain that for a long period of time. It's impossible. You will burn out at some point if you're not already or if you're not starting to flake off a little bit. So bringing that energy back within yourself, giving yourself that time, giving yourself the the energy that you deserve, giving yourself that space, doing things for you, doing things for yourself that you enjoy, that you love to do. 
And there are people on this call that have got kids that maybe one, uh, you know, you may be thinking, well, what about them? Well, what about them? What do you want them to see? Do you want them to grow up to see that all you do is everything for everybody else and not for yourself? Or do you want them to see that you're making decisions that's going to, that, that is going to be for you, that's going to be good for you? Obviously, the decisions you want to make as well are good for those around you when we're talking about positive, re- resourceful, resourceful kind of actions. We're not talking about being selfish here completely. But remember, selfish doesn't mean bad. it's not all bad. Remember, we've talked about before where it's important to be selfish sometimes, and that's okay. It's really, really important to make decisions that are good for you, that are going to benefit you, that are going to help you. Because you deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. And so I say again, if you are worried about how your kids are going to be treated or if they're going to be left behind, of course they're not. Of course they're not. Because obviously a lot of the decisions you'll make and the things you'll want to be doing involve them as well because you love them and you want them to be around you, right? So it's not always going to be that you forget. It's not... It's impossible for you to forget about them, but don't you want to? Don't you want to see that they can watch you making strong decisions, doing what's right, that you're not a pushover? Because I, I, you know, when when Katie and I, when we have kids, I would want them. And I'm sure she would agree. I'm, I'm, she's on tonight, so she, I'm sure she might say something. I'd want them to build this beautiful inner power where they're not going to be dictated by, by just because someone's asked them to do something. I want them to be able to have that strength. I want them to be able to say, you know what, I'm not doing that just because you've asked me to. Especially when they get to teenage years. I'm not going to do those drugs because you've asked me to because I want to be cool. I'm not going to go and do stupid bad things because I'm trying to fit in, because you're trying to make me feel like I need to to fit in. I'd rather them build that inner power as early as possible and build that grain as deep as possible for when they do get older because the decisions get harder. Kids tend to be more stubborn when they're little. I can remember that, but as you get older, you start to learn that you can get people to like you a bit more if you do things for them. You can get people to like you more if you say the right thing. So you start to adapt and change how you are. Change how you change, like what you're willing to do for people. So I would want. So if you argue that, what about? If selfishness comes in, what about the kids? Well, they're going to learn. You're not going to forget about them. They are still important to you. They are still a huge part of your life. They are going to watch a mother or a father making strong decisions and being powerful and learning what an incredible tool, what an incredible thing to have within you from a young age. Because it's something that's not just built into us from the very beginning. It's something that has to be learnt and grown and developed and continued. We're always learning and developing. We're always changing them with things going on around us. So what an amazing thing for them to know from a young age to be able to have within them, right? Someone's picking on them, saying nasty things to them, and they've got the power to not give a shit, to not care about what they have to say. Wouldn't you want that? I certainly would have. Obviously, you can, some kids can be a little like, you know, the, obviously when you talk about genes, you talk about, you know, um, 
yeah, like you can be born obviously with these sorts of traits. There's no doubt in that, but it's learnt. It's the the nuts and bolts of it are learnt. So then being able to learn and develop such incredible strength to be able to say yes or no based on their own terms, what an incredible, wonderful thing to have, I believe. And I'd love for anybody to challenge me on it. It's a great discussion to have. Even though as a parent, you might be like, well, I would rather that being able to dictate them a little bit, but don't, wouldn't you really want to learn to love that? Watch your child grow to see them being able to make decisions purely because they want to. So we, we have that power to begin with if we're obviously, if we're started off on the right foot. We have that power to begin with, but I believe that over time, as I said, due to different sorts of environments and, and learning different ways and growing up in different spaces and different going to school and going into sports and whatever, being in all these different social groups, you learn different ways of how to socialize and how to, how to attract people to you, how to not attract people to you. And I think over that period of time, when you, when you start to give out that more, more of your power, it starts to fade and you start to lose the inner power to be able to make your decisions purely because they're the ones you want to make for you. So I say, take it back. Take back that power. Show those people around you how incredible it is for you to have that power, especially for those beautiful kids of yours if you had them. I know there are people on this call that have got that have got kids and that uh, that there are things that have gone on lately where if they had just that little bit more power, they would have handled certain situations completely differently. And I reckon that that would have been, that would just be so cool if that's something that they would able to, that they were able to develop. Excuse me. Anyway, so thank you so much for joining on tonight. Quickly, so Lisa says recharging the batteries, giving yourself some quiet time helps with regaining your power. Absolutely. Yep. So just giving yourself that space, giving yourself that time, even if it's ten minutes a day. No matter what it is, whatever it is that you do that can help you recharge your batteries, whatever it is that you can do for yourself at least once a day where you can just feel like you're in control of your life, where you're in control of the things going on around you, that is what is going to help you get your power back, where you feel like you have more control over the things going on around you. So thank you so much for jumping on tonight. Feel free to comment, share. Obviously, the best, the more we share, the more this gets out to everybody. If you feel like it's been highly valuable for you, then surely it's going to be valuable for others as well. Thank you so much for joining on tonight. I'll see you again next Tuesday night and have a wonderful week and we'll catch up again soon. Take care of yourself. Bye.